In this video, I will show you how to enable and use machine translation in Omega T for Mac. I also have a separate uh, video for Omega T for Windows, and I will include a link in the description below. So first, I need to go to Options, Machine Translate, and here I'll select Google Translate. And I will go back to the same place, Option, Machine Translate, and I'll select Microsoft Translator. Now, this is not sufficient because if I go to the Machine Translation tab, I'm being told that my Google API key is not available and the same with uh, Microsoft Translator's client ID and client secret. So I need to enter my credentials in uh, Omega T and for that I need to, to go to Finder. I'll open a new window and I'll go to Applications and uh, I'll locate Omega T here and I'll right click on Omega T and I'll select Show Package Contents. Here I'll select uh, the file called uh, info.plist, which is the preference file for Omega T, and I'll open it. Now I have some instructions found in the how-tos for Google Translate and Microsoft Translator, and for Google Translate, I can see that I have to locate first these two lines here, and I have to insert two lines, this one here, just after the lines I just mentioned. So I'll copy these two lines. I'll move back to my preference file. And uh, here are the lines that were mentioned in the instructions. And here I'll paste the two lines for Google Translate. Now my Google key is here, so I'll select it. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. Okay, and now let's move to Microsoft Translator. So the instructions for Microsoft Translator are to insert these four lines here. So I'll select them and I'll copy them. And again, I'll paste them here. I'll remove the arrows and I'll select my client ID here, copy and I'll paste it here. I'll do the same with my client secret. Obviously, these are not my real credentials, don't, so don't try to use them, they won't work. So I'll paste it here. And by the way, if you need to obtain credentials for Google Translate and Microsoft Translator, I have separate videos uh, with instructions on how to do it, and I'll also include a link in the description below. So now I can save my preference file and I can move back to Omega T. And if I go to the Machine Translation tab, I can see translations from both Google Translate and Microsoft Translator. Now, if I want to see these translations all the time, what I can do, I can undock the Machine Translation pane here. And for instance, I can locate it uh, here. So now I will be able to see the translations from Google Translate and Microsoft Translator all the time. Now if I want to copy the translation from uh, Google Translate, the first one, I can use the command edit and replace with machine translation, which is also command M, like this. Unfortunately, there is no specific command for copying the second uh, machine translation proposal if you have uh, multiple sources. So if I want to use Microsoft Translator, I have to select it manually like this and uh, command C and move back to the editor and here command V. So there is no specific command for that. Now I can move to the next segment with uh, command N. And again, I get two proposals from Google Translate and Microsoft Translator. So I can copy with command M the first one like this. So there you have it, how to enable and use Google Translate and Microsoft Translator in Omega T for Mac. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more similar content aimed at translators. And see you in the next video.